Every once in a while, as Vicini said, you have to go back to the beginning. And we're here in the Mantis booth at SHOT Show with Chase, who can shoot. Dude can shoot, and so I thought, what the heck, let's go back to the beginning, our Dry Fire Monday here at Active Self Protection of setting a benchmark for pure shooting performance. Whether in dry fire or in live fire, the Mantis X Firearms training system really helps you to get better every day with your defensive shooting. I use mine all the time. So, Chase, tell me how long you've been shooting, bro. Uh, I would say I'm a more casual shooter. Okay. So I've been with Mantis pretty much since the beginning, about four years now. Um, I'm the app guy, so if you guys ever email in, and say, hey, I'm having problems with the app. I usually handle You're the all, one who all gets of the those complaints. calls. So some of you know me very well already. Um, but yeah, I've been sh probably shooting for about four years. But I mean, I don't get out to the range like you do. But you so. never get, I almost never get out to the range. But right, you. I mean, but you guys use the app. Yeah, we. I mean, I'm testing the app every single day. I mean, so I'm probably doing, you know. 100 trigger pulls a day on these CO2 guns. I want you to pay attention to that. This guy doesn't get out to the range all that much. He calls himself a casual shooter, but he gets 100 trigger pulls a day. I'll bet you money that he is going to be a very, very high score. So here's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna set a benchmark, right? So you go into the app, they're using it in a, um, in, on the iPads, but you can use your phone too. But this is what this is gonna do. What the benchmark is, I get the very best grip I can. There's no time pressure here. What I'm trying to do, hold my sight picture nice and steady, and you can, you can aim at anything. Aim, where you're aimed is not as important here, but what we're trying to do is hold those sights nice and steady, get a good firm grip on the gun, press the trigger straight to the rear. Now, we, uh, Chase is gonna be using a, a dedicated CO2 gun. This is a, a, a SIG model CO2 gun. I'm actually using a cool fire in a VP9. So this is a real VP9. So I'm kind of handicapping him because I actually get a better trigger than he does. But, ready to shoot? <laughs> sure. Let's do it, man. Go. <laughs> Here we go, <clears throat> benchmarks ready. So take your time, get the best grip that you can and, and get the trigger straight to the rear. Here we go, take your time, bro, let's get them. All right. Oh. Uh, first shot, 97.2. Chase with a first shot of 97.3, how could you beat me on a 97.2, bro? That's not even nice. That's lucky. That's a lucky <laughs> shot. That's lucky. <laughs> Okay, so the cool thing that I do like about CO2 for this is that you do have to control the gun a little bit. You have to control some recoil. So again, nice firm grip front to rear like we talk about, side to side like we talk about. Keep it steady. Press the trigger straight to the rear. Ah, terrible shot. 94.5. Oh. Oh, I'm, I, I'm ahead though. You got though. me all nervous. I'm yeah, shaking. I'm <laughs> all right, oh, let's see. Goodness. Here we go, number three. Oh, that's a pretty good shot. Oh, okay, here we go. Terrible. All right, here we go. 98.2 was a good shot. Let's get another one here. All right, that was not a great shot. Pressed a little bit. Let's see if we get another one. 95.8's a good shot for me. Now, you notice I'm not going fast. This is taking my time. I'm trying to get a great straight to the rear trigger press. That was a pretty good shot. That's seven for me. Oh, I butchered it. Eight. Now I you notice I'm taking my time it. between shots too. I'm not trying to just drive the gun out and go bang, 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 bang. I'm trying to get the best trigger press that I can. Good. Let's see if I can get one more good one. All right, I, I shot a 95.8 average. I had one shot that was like an 86. Oh, I killed me down you to at a 93. Now, I'm going to say this, okay? So, 93 1 is a pretty darn good, yeah. So, so, we can look at this a couple ways. One of the cool things that I like about this here, I have a list of shots. Okay, cool. But I can also look and see, here's my average. And actually, believe it or not, when I am scoring out, I'm healing just a little bit, which is kind of interesting. Now, I had pretty consistent shots, but let's look over here in just a little bit with Chase. And again, you notice one shot really took him out there. Don't feel bad about that. Listen, just let it go, right? You're gonna have a bad shot from time to time. Just let it go and keep on trucking. Thanks, now, 
Here's one of the things that I'm really noticing. One of the things that I want to pay attention to is I, I care less about the red in this drill than I do about the blue and the yellow. Again, the blue is the you know 200 or so milliseconds before the shot, right? Uh, the, the yellow is about one to two tenths of a second before the shot breaks. And the yellow is your hold pattern. That's about a half, or the blue is your hold pattern. Hold pattern? That's about a half a second okay. before that. Blue's a half a second before. Yellow is 100 to 100, 200 milliseconds before. And we go there. So do I like these shots? Yeah, I like that first shot quite a bit. Second shot, notice I was just high and right as in that minute before. So that's kind of interesting. I'm happy with that. Notice I'm staying nice and tight where I want to be. So I don't have any problems with any of this stuff. These are pretty good looking shots, which is what you, you expect when you're scoring in the mid 90s. Uh, notice I'm going down and then back over, which is kind of interesting. And so I'm pretty happy with all 10 of those. Now then, let's see what people can do. Come this way. So these are our today's best benchmarks. You saw me, I was what, 95.8 on average? So that would put me here, I'm not even on the podium today. These are folks who are coming through and, and shooting really well. But notice, I mean, again, top 20 is only 92, and that's out of thousands of people here at SHOT Show today. So anyways, uh, here's what I want you to do with this. Here's what I want you to do with this stuff. Back up again, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back out here to the gun, is this benchmark this week and and listen if you don't have a mantis x what do i want you to do if you don't have a mantis i really just want you to then just use your dry fire and if you're not using co2 fine i want you to just get the best grip you can i want you to get the best shot you can so that means again front straight back to the uh back, front to the back and then side to side get a drive out see your side picture nice and still and steady keep your head pointed your face pointed at your target nice and steady press squeeze easy 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 let the gun go off reset and do it again i want you to get at least 10 reps a day for every day this week and it'll make you a better shooter to go back to the beginning